Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 3 Ruined World. This will, be, this will be part 15 of our Let's Play. In the last episode we were making our way through the slime pit. And you know, it was yeesh, lots of fun, I guess. Uh, we haven't found the giant mother slime murdery thing yet. We're killing the, uh, the, the slime towers. We've actually killed enough to get to the Mother Slime now, so that's where we're headed. But before that, let's see if we can't level up Zhesh Osh first. Uh, we could go Challenger 2. But maybe we want to get like robust health or something first. Let's do that. We can do Challenger later. Alright, so... Let's see if we can find out what's causing all this. Don't like the shrine type dealy I'm looking at. What's over this way? Ah, okay, so we only had to kill a couple of the slime factories. Fair enough. Wow, you got, you got one. That's a good effort. That's a good effort. It's not good enough. But that's a good effort. Uh, Drake skin braces. Ooh. I'm a plus six percent. Uh, what about you? Plus eight percent. Three percent. Drake hide gloves. Chance to evade attacks. Nah, all right. We'll just put it in the trash. Unfortunately, it's not quite good enough. You hear a long, hideous, keening noise behind you. Zombies are normally quiet creatures, but not these. The slime-infected bodies are rising from the ground. They wander around mindlessly, the slimes that fill their husks flailing around in their skin shells. Ugh. These things are still not... not pleasing at all. <laughs> I feel bad for the zombies. So bad. Ah, okay, you're just gonna have to chop. Whatever. Alright, like, obviously we're gonna try and... Okay, we we'll probably actually need two of you there doing it properly. Oh, whoops. I still had you set to range, my bad. I did this. I have done this. That cleave kind of sucks. Okay, away he goes. And there he is again. I'm pretty sure. I think this was him. Either that or he's like full on bolted back up this way. Who the hell knows. <laughs> so, pretty decent day today. We had a... Uh, Massive nerd that I am, I had a uh, RPG day. Oh no, this is the one that ran away. Was, uh, oh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I, I do like a good old pen and paper RPG every now and again. Alright, anyway, talk about that in a minute. But first, let's make sure that Horum is. Set up to be really useful. Uh, we could do Healing Focus 3, and I think we will. Alright, but yeah, so we're doing a... Ugh. Okay, that's not an appealing looking thing. We're doing a Star Wars RPG at the moment. We're using Saga Edition. Quite fun. Ooh. No, I <laughs> better kill this before it actually spawns way more. But yeah, having a, having a lot of fun. It's a lot more sort of rules heavy than I'm used to, but... Ah, you know, it's worth a little bit of pain and suffering every now and again. Okay, yeah, we're gonna really make sure we've dealt with everything before we we go wandering around. Okay, and I think we have in this case. We've killed five of the slime factories, so let's play with the alien slime. At long last, you reach the ultimate source of the massive plague that has tormented this region. It is a huge cavern. Its walls have been scratched by the flailing of huge tentacles, and the floor is covered with tiny droplets of grey goo. I don't really call it, like, tentacled. It kind of looks like a worm with spider legs. 
Uh, you don't notice many of the details, however. You're too busy looking at the master of the caves. It towers over you, keening in fury over the loss of its gelatinous children. It is a beast that seems truly alien to this world. It is 20 feet high, a writhing mass of tentacles, fibrous jelly, and eye stalks. The croaking roar, unlike any noise you've ever heard, comes from deep within. Spitting goo, muscular tentacles lashing, the master of the slime sways back and forth, eager to have its revenge on you. Yeah, I wouldn't really say it's like... tentacly. I wouldn't want to run into it in a dark alley, don't get me wrong, but... It's not, uh... not terrifying, I would say. Uh, we'll do protection. Maybe have a chance of not getting hit. We'll put a cloak of curses on. The slime monster is annoyed by one of the pests irritating it from a distance. It spits a giant blob of slime at one of you. Enraged slime monster grabs an enemy that is jabbing at it. Your warrior is flung against a wall and stuck to it by long strands of, of icky goo. That's a bit annoying. So they're kind of kind of cheating with this by the looks. They're, they're making it a lot harder than it has to be. Um, we'll do a war blessing as well. And we'll summon a beastie. Ugh, only a giant rat. Boo. Boo, giant rat. Boo. Ah, really? You just missed? Ouch. Uh, can you do... Okay, you can do a well and blow. Um, we'll try a leg sweep. Okay, good. We did hit it with a weakness curse. Nice. We'll summon a shade. And this will be our full sort of party. And I think it'll be okay. Yeah, it'll definitely be okay. We're not having too much trouble with this. Get up there, Aussie nerd. Kick their ass. Make sure he goes down. Yeah, we are definitely sort of leveled enough for this. Oh, okay, the profile of it is a lot weirder. I'll give it that. From the front, it looks completely different. I got an achievement. With a roar that seems to shake the entire cavern, the alien slime shakes and collapses. See, again, I wouldn't really call it a slime. Uh, almost immediately, it begins to decay, its body parts falling apart and decomposing into goo. The creature's death howl is echoed by other smaller screams, reverberating throughout the tunnels. As their master goes, the slimes nearby follow. Hopefully most, if not all of the slimes elsewhere are dying too. The ground shudders under your feet. In the back of the slime's chamber, massive cracks appear in one of the walls. You stand, bloodied and battered, alone in the cavern. You have little doubt that Kreezan is now free of the slime menace. A great victory is yours. Yet the victory is unsatisfying. Somebody powerful must have created this place. The place is too cunningly designed to think otherwise. The question is who? This threat has been removed. However, if the creator, the source of the problem, is not discovered, the surface, your true home, may yet be destroyed. Did we get any loot? No, nothing at all. I'm hoping that Kreezan will give us something. Right, but first of all... Uh, yeah, we'll do intelligence again, and we will level up arcane lore, and probably mage spells. Uh... Could just go good fortune. Actually, let's be summoning focus. I want some better beasties. Oh, I get two, that's right. But we'll also do. Let's also do good fortune. We'll just get some luck. It's never a bad idea just to have a little extra luck. Okay, here's the crack in the wall. All the evidence in these caves clearly points to one thing the slimes didn't just migrate here by chance, they were placed here and only something powerful and intelligent could have created them. The rune etched into the floor here is what would seem to be the final evidence of that. It's a mage's rune, a mark of ownership or creation, often placed by a wizard on a particularly good piece of work. You don't recognize a mark, but surely someone at Ford Emergence will. You make a quick drawing of it. Hmm, the plot thickens. So we need to head back to Ford Emergence now for sure, right? We should probably do that. Uh, where did we... Where did we come in? It was down here? Yeah, there. Okay, we have to go... 
a bit closer, otherwise it decides that it like doesn't want to let you run that far. Ooh, some crystals we can pick up. Alright, let's get out of this place. Had quite enough creepy, slimy monstrosities. I think we might go back to Kreezan first. Like, we'll go all the way back to Kreezan. Because where is, uh... Yeah, I mean, Fort Emergence is just up north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll, be, that'll be good. That'll be good. That'll be fine. Come on, slimes. Ah, they run away. Come back, little slimes. While poking around in this glade, you see a small flash of light from under a pile of leaves. You look closer and find that a somewhat tarnished silver flask caught a beam of sunlight. You pick it up and shake it. There's fluid inside. We're going to take it. Oh, we found an energy potion. Some slimes mill about aimlessly. You notice that as they move over the grass, it burns. Okay, they're just coming to attack me. Blah, blah, blah. They're coming to kill me. They shouldn't... Should have known better. Don't they know I killed their... Mother, father... Giant, weird slime monster thing. Oof. They're not, uh... I mean, they have low health. I was gonna say they're not easy. They are pretty easy, but that's just because they have low health. They do a decent amount of damage. It's just a matter of surviving long enough to team up on you. I'll take this. So have I really not explored up this way? Why is that? When you move into the crag between these lines of rock spies, you stumble upon a large band of goblins. Several of them are wolf riders. They would easily give chase to you if they wanted. One of the warriors calls out to you. You humans, good food. Give us 50 of your coins or we catch you and feed your grok bogs to our wolves. You aren't sure, but you really doubt that you want to give them your grok bogs. Do you pay? No, no way. When the goblins see that their money isn't forthcoming, they mount their wolves and emit blood-curdling howls. And they charge. Just saying, I don't see any wolf riders. I see wolves and goblins. No wolf riders, though. Okay, we'll do a blade sweep. See if we can't. Yeah, get the double kill. That's what I want. Uh, can I move you here? Oh, I can. And do a call of storm. Because this would be pretty good. Pretty damaging. Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't expect that much damage, I'll admit. Did not expect that pentakill, but... That's... It's not bad. Uh, what have you got? A belt, pointless, animal skin, trash, two short sword trash. These goblins won't be hassling travelers anymore. Their camp doesn't have anything useful. They must have hidden their loot somewhere. You notice that their tracks come from the north. Yes, yeah, so we haven't been here. What was here? Sun says keep away. Um, yeah, I don't want to avoid them. They are not much XP, but they are still XP. And I don't say no to a little XP. Okay, well, this is what I think about your battle frenzy. Could have planned that a bit better. Could have planned that a bit better. Suppose this is really this is our chance to uh, explore. Okay, I, I'm guessing that's the that's the camp. Uh, you encounter a sorry-looking group of Nephilim. They are squatting in an abandoned farmhouse, tending to their crude weapons and scavenging for food. They look extremely nervous when you get close. The Empire is very cruel to their kind. We're going to approach and talk to them. The Nephil Chieftain approaches your party. When he notices that one of his visitors is also a Nephil, he visibly relaxes. Welcome, you of good kind. Nephil mean we safe. We make weapon here. Hunt goblin. Wolf. We eat. We need metal, though. Make spear and head of arrow. We wish iron. Have iron? We pay. Do you try to help them? Sure. As it turns out, you actually don't have any iron. When they never realize this, they leave you looking dejected. Their chief asks you not to tell the Empire where they are. It would be very bad for them if they were found. Well, I... I have, uh... I do have some thing, right? Uh, poor Nephilim. A bar of iron. I'm sure I have one. 
it's probably just in the junk bag. For sure. Fine steel. I guess you're not good enough to make stuff out of fine steel. You know what? You, that's fair enough. Maybe I don't have any iron. Okay. I'm surprised, but yeah. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. I love that everything runs away from me on the map now. That's that's nice. The trees in this forest are withered, burned, and missing large chunks. The trails of grey dead ground tell the cause. The slimes have been moving through here, destroying foliage as they go. Unhindered, they will kill this entire forest. Yeah, well, we can't have that. Ah, okay, so here's a path. Ooh, what's up here? Um, some thugs is what's up here. Or as I like to call them, fleshy XP sacks. That, that sounded wrong. Sounded wrong. I I don't say that. <laughs> I will never say that again. All right. Let's deal. No, it's not gonna give me some sort of event up there. I am surprised. Uh, you find a crude wooden hut built out here, far from civilization. Smoke trails up from a stone chimney. There must be a hermit living here. I'll knock on the door. The door opens a crack, and an eye peers out at you from the shadows. There's an unpleasant smell in the air. The eye looks you over, and its owner speaks with a raspy voice. I've been waiting for someone up here. I need someone to take a message for me. It's tough to get messages places. You'll get money on delivery. I have to go to another hut to the north, on the other side of the mountains. Will you do it? Yes. A humanoid hand, so dirty you can't tell the race, or the species, of the owner, emerges from the darkness. It holds a folded and sealed message on ragged parchment. Take this over the mountains. Hurry it up. Or through the mountains, maybe? You find someone's going to see a large supply case here. Uh, uh chocolate food. Yeah, okay. Just some javelins. It's nothing really exciting. A close band of gone stops and especially valuing a gear and general aura of bad arsery. They don't like what they see. They move away quickly looking for easier prey. Well, let's go deal with the goblins, maybe. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Group of goblin guards, well armed. I'm not going to read all of them. Like, sometimes they're just saying things we've seen before. Like, I, I try to read all of them, but if they're just not important, then I'm not going to read them saying, these goblins are defending a mine. You, know, you, you can sort of see that. You know, I don't have to tell you. Oh, I should have done a blade sweep. That would have been good. Oh, well. They die pretty quick. Ow. That critical seven, though. Ooh, he dropped a crystal. Take that. Let's deal with some goblins. Dire wolves, dire deads, what they are. Get out of my way. God, what I had to the wolf entrance? Only wolves are allowed through here. Oh, nice. That's, that's not bad at all. I missed. I, I whiffed. Can't reach. What over here? Yeah, that's what I thought. You can reach. I don't know why sometimes it lets them run and sometimes it doesn't. Either way, it's kind of weird. A warg. Ooh. Tougher than your average wolf. Oh, why have I still got you set on ranged? I keep forgetting to change it. There we go. Now I got it. Get rid of that goblin flinger. Oh, there's two of them anyway, so. Yeah, 
and they're not a massive threat. Not anymore. Gee, let's be real. Goblins aren't really a massive threat in this area. Unless they're gonna suddenly have some goblin that's super strong. They, uh... I think they're gonna be much of a challenge. Ah, uh, don't make me attack him again! I don't wanna! Let's just leave. Get out of here. There we go. I'll go back over here and go in this door. That should be good. This kitchen and dining hall were invaded by the goblins. The tables, chairs, and cooking pots were once nice, but have been wrecked by neglect, abuse, and the idle picking of many claws. This structure is too nice to have been built by the goblins. Yeah, well, I mean, I could have told you that. Chief Drisnik. Oh, bitter rot, black wind. Got some named wargs up in here. Might maybe blow them away. Yeah, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. Can I daze them? That's the important question. Not really. Can ensnare them, though. The goblin chieftain sees one of his precious wolves has been damaged. He grabs a gruesome trophy from one of the thongs around his neck and crushes it in his fist. He chants, Mighty thief Grisnik blesses his loyal pet. The wolf goes stronger. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I mean, we can just kill it. But that is that's an interesting mechanic. There's a lot of like little events in this one, I'm noticing. Sort of things to mix up the combat every now and again, which is good, because it never used to sort of have that. I don't even think they had it much in the second one. Definitely didn't have it in the first one. Good to see they've been improving the formula. We'll just get rid of the Goblin Warriors. Thin them out a bit. There we go. Cordelia, you're a pretty good archer. I have no idea why. You, uh, you shouldn't be. A bit confused. Yeah, I mean, I, I can keep hitting Chief Drisnik. Uh, we will heal up Aussie Nerd. He keep blessing him. I don't know what that does, and that kind of worries me. That's like the fifth time that's happened. Or the third time, I guess. Bit of an exaggeration, but feels like the fifth time. But I'll just keep making sure they die. Keep thinning them out. That's how we win. I love the idea of parrying a javelin. In fact, I'm parrying a javelin with a bow. That's pretty talented. Yeah, can you not summon cave crawlers on me, please? That's really annoying. Blessed again. Why? What does that do? What am I missing here? What am I missing? We'll just keep targeting these. I mean, he's not taking much damage, or he's got extra health. Oh, that absolutely just healed him. It's not gonna save it, because I have, yeah, more than enough damage I can do. Is he gonna go into, like, rage mode now they're dead? No? Just gonna keep attacking? Okay. I was kind of expecting another change, but... I was wrong. So wrong. Oof. I'll tell you what, it's a rare thing at the moment to have them, like, do blade sweeps and stuff. The Goblin Chieftain had numerous strings of grisly gnawed bones strung around his neck. There were so many of the nasty trophies, he's surprised he could remain standing. Yeah, it's kind of a novelty at the moment when things can you know do the uh do the blade sweep and that but towards the end of the game when they do that all the freaking time that's uh, not enjoyable 
Okay, we'll actually give that to you. Since you don't have a necklace, an amulet or whatever. Uh, statuette. I'll take it. Hourglass is worth money as well. Hammers rocks aren't though. Right, we'll make sure we clear out all these wargs. You know, wouldn't want them rocking up to Kreezan and messing them up. Well, that's a strong warg. Sometimes things just don't die when you would expect them to. Uh, whips, shackles, gauntlets. Nothing we really want. Uh, nope. This is the only room in this wrecked fort that goblins haven't been able to penetrate. Even if they had been able to break the door down, they wouldn't have been able to destroy this magical barrier. Magical barrier, you say? Do I have a piercing crystal? Yes, I do. Uh, spiritual herbs, nice. Healing potion, better. A luck crystal. This powerful vanatine magic stir This is powerful vanatine magic. I think that's the same mistake I made last time. Uh, staring at this crystal will place knowledge into your mind. It can only be used once. Well, we'll just use it on me. Use it on me. I, I do always like having one just super OP character. Actually works pretty well, because the enemies you fight tend to be super OP, so if you can sort of like 1v1 them, it works out pretty well. Oh, over here then. Really? There we go. Thank you. God, I'm not looking forward to when everyone has combat disciplines. That is gonna suck. Sucks so much. These barracks were originally made by and for humans. The beds and doors are human sized. Being used by filthy clawed goblins, however, has caused everything to decay. The beds are nightmares of filth and fleas. Yeah, that doesn't sound appealing. I'm gonna go ahead and give a miss on the whole laying down deal. I'll take that, I'll take that, give it to you. Uh, I mean there's some daggers and javelins and stuff here. We can pick it up, it's not really worth anything, but we can do it. The question is, what's over here that requires me to get through two locked doors? A well-established path leads north to a mine entrance. It is guarded by a band of goblins, ready to make their final stand. They charge. Gee whiz, that's a lot of goblins. How many can I kill with a blade sweep? Lots. Lots is the answer. What about you? Pretty good. Uh, let us summon a shade. You, you're going to... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean Cloak of Curses. I meant days. Alright, now we just sit back and enjoy the uh, 80 turns of combat we have to wait through here. <laughs> just... Keep going. Ooh. <laughs> oh, as soon as I saw him start to do that, I was like, ooh, yep. That's death. That's what that is. Uh, I'll target him. And you can target him. Nice. Now we're down to just the two. Just the one. Just the one of us. I mean, I will take uh, a bit of... a bit of money. You reach a goblin mine. Although it's typically shoddy goblin construction, it's it looks safe to explore. You search the mines and find that the goblins' digging techniques, while crude, were quite sufficient to tap the rich veins in these tunnels. You see both gold and silver ore, waiting for the industrious souls for industrious souls to knock it out of the walls. While you have neither the skill nor the time to start a mining operation, you are able to help yourself to the silver nuggets and gold uh, and gold dust you find in a side chamber. You are now quite a bit wealthier. Okay, or it just gives me a thousand coins. I guess it'd be a bit of a pain in the ass to give you, like, gold dust and 
the rest of it that you'd have to go and sell, and yeah, fair enough. I understand. As you approach the remote hut, flame spells sear the ground in front of you. As you scurry for cover, you hear a man shout, Oops, sorry, overreacted, come up here quick. Do you? Yeah, sure, why not? You cautiously approach the hut. When you reach the pathway up to its door, you're greeted by a small scraggly man with a wand. He says, Sorry, with all the goblins about, I tend to lob spells first and look after. I'm Bulon. Care to come in for a stew? You enter his hut and find that his stew is repellent. You also notice that the hut is full of alchemical equipment. You ask Bulon about it. He says, Yeah, I'm doing alchemy stuff out here. Best to work away from towns, just to keep from frying people. None of my experiments are working, I'm afraid, but I do have spare supplies if you're interested. Sure. Let's do some shopping. You mentioned to Boulon that you raided the nearby goblin lair. He seems very grateful. No wonder I've been pestered so much less lately. That's worth a discount on my supplies. It's the least I can do. Um, magical notes must be for someone. Someone's going to buy them, surely. Yeah, a speed potion would be alright, but I, I'm saving most of my money for training. Training is expensive. Oh, some unicorns. Those majestic creatures. Okay, well we have to take that letter across. We'll do that later. You, you are on the road leading north from Krizan province. The air is cleaner and the underbrush lacks the scarred burned areas caused by the passage of the slimes. Nearby you see a friendly and busy inn, built here to aid travellers heading to and from Kreesan. I'll just explore this couple of steps. No, no, I don't want to do any shopping. I'm just going to go over here and... Alright, just want to fill the map in, that's all. Porter's Retreat. Don't remember that being there. So the Inn of Blades. No, leave me alone. Alright, we'll do a quick perimeter walk, and then we will have to end the episode. Ah, see? There's a bear. There's a bear in there. Let me kick its ass. Oh wow, it goes before Cordelia. Interesting. Yeah. Bear not quite as threatening as it used to be. Not quite as threatening at all. Nice. A uh, healing herb, I think it is. Doo -doo -doo. Keep doing a perimeter search. Anything else exciting around here? Doesn't look like it. So, we are actually going to leave this episode here. So, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, you Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, uh, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so that I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.